What's going on my broskies, my name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and today we're going to be going ahead and having a look at the brand new Kizuna Clash versus Sakazuki Akainu. Remember this is not a super boss Kizuna, this is a generic normal Kizuna so you don't have to worry about building teams for a super boss because there just isn't one. Uh, in this video we're going to have three separate teams taking on each color variation. Uh, this first one is like the one that I showed in my preparation video. We're also going to have one with my own personal teams that I'm thinking about using, but also we're going to have like one team using the friend captain of the new white beard and building full powerhouse teams against this content because that's ideally actually what they want you to do in this content. Um, Gold Roger that you're seeing is the captain in this one from the anniversary. He's really, really good versus the quick variation. Him being a powerhouse unit, you can use him uh, with a friend captain white beard, build a really solid team around that as long as you're able to generate tandem slots which if you do end up using the friend captain white beard then you can go ahead and do that by activating two specials of roger from your captain and, and your friend captain you'll have two tandem slots to help you at least break that barrier so you don't have to run deck super tandem luffy like i do on this team but it's just an option that is available to you Moving on to our secondary team, I wanted to just opt to just use like the full Kaido like driven base team. This is by far like not not really by far and away like the most optimal team for this. Definitely not, um, but it does get the job done. Uh, we do have to run things a little bit weird because of the attack down on stage two. I originally completely overlooked that and I had to like move my team a little bit in order to actually get around that attack down on stage two. Because of the effect on the final stage where you don't have any color affinity, abusing other types of abilities to get more damage against the opponent is ideal, which is why I'm using cross guild because I do have a full driven team and they'll give two times damage against the opponent that have the set target status. Beforehand, I did actually have Int Legend Jack attached to Kaido as a support, which says that when we activate Kaido special, we get a 1.3 increased damage taken conditional boost. And that allows you to, to stack that with the, uh, with the Big Mom special to have the double stacking conditional boosts works exceptionally well. Ideally for this team as well, I completely also overlooked the fact that Kaido removes Paralysis as a captain, so technically Brook is not needed. You can replace Brook with any other unit that removes increased defense, um, because Brook does increase defense and Paralysis, and you know, because Paralysis is removed via the captain, realistically you can change this team up quite a fair bit. And then having a look at the final team versus the quick variation, we're going to be using Roger Captain with the friend Captain Whitebeard. This team works really, really well um, by using the Rare Recruit Vista and the Rare Recruit Jozu. Those characters are actually suggested characters for this fight because they help you get around just some of the gimmicks on stage 3. Um, with the way that the team works, we're going to be using the uh, Dex Super Tandem Whitebeard, not the new one, but the old Dex Super Tandem Whitebeard as a crewmate here because we just needed some type of way to generate an attack boost. And uh, I mean, technically Vista does generate an attack boost, so realistically, the Whitebeard on, on, the, on the team on the bottom row isn't really required. You could replace him with just about whatever you want. But due to the fact that I did have him, and also he does have Super Tandem, we can generate Super Tandem, we can generate Tandem Slots, that is, and uh, just use the Super Tandem ability of the Dex Super Tandem Whitebeard in general is the reason why I wanted to, you know, use him on the team. Uh, the, the Hamlet and um, whatever his name is, Hamlet and Speed uh, character on the team is a character that can change some slots into tandem as well as also removing enemies' rainbow shield. That's literally the only reason why they're actually here. Ore 
と共に来る者は命を捨ててついてこい息子と。Moving on to the versus Psy variation. Now, this is the exact same team that I talked about in my preparation video. The way that this team is going to work is we have Uta for the turn progress activated effect to get a very solid attack and all boost for all turns of this content. Now, the fact that we have Uta as our captain means that we can resist the special reverse and the paralysis that's inflicted on stage two. So that's fantastic for us. And then we do have two key characters on the crew for getting around the special bind mechanics, which is going to be the uh, the Bonnie as well as the Sabo. One thing to note is I would recommend to have your special bind removers on the right hand side of your crew, because when you actually get to the final boss stage, uh, especially post level 30, where your crewmates will be inflicted with the stun debuff, when a character is stunned, their crewmate abilities are not going to activate, and there is going to be further special bind on stage 3. So making sure that your character is able to use their special still to still remove the special bind is important. So make sure to put your special bind removers on the right hand side, and then you can go ahead and use a stun remover in order to get around it. Of course, before level 30, like in this scenario that you're seeing here, it's not that big of an issue, but just something to take note of when you get deeper into the event. Moving on to the next team, we're going to be using uh, kind of like the, the team that they want you to use, I suppose. Again, I don't know if this is the exact team they want you to use. They want you to use Wipe It, obviously. But this content is, uh, is semi-revolved around the Yamato. Uh, Yamato does help you get around a lot of the gimmicks in this content. If you do run a full team of characters that are both Cerebral and Free Spirit, which is what we're doing with every single unit on this team, then we get access to the amazing utility from Yamato, being able to resist Bind, Despair, special reverse and paralysis by six turns with both captains is phenomenal so having that is really really strong and um, one thing i did make a little bit of an issue with uh, as i said in my previous clip make sure that your special bind removers are on the right hand side of your crew so realistically i would actually switch the position of sabo to put him on the right um like chopper being on the like j just switching sabo and chopper is really all you need to do because uh, of the way that things are realistically so that's fine um we get to the final stage i do have brook support attached to Nami so that we don't actually have to use Nami special but because I completely forgot about uh, the special bind and the uh, and the stun on this team we actually had to use Nami special for this specific situation right here also note that the way that we're getting around stun on this team is the support of Ushimaru attached to Yamato. There's a couple of other units you could attach uh, in order to get around uh, the stun. Just having a support that can reduce your crew's health is going to be a really good way to get around it. The final team for the versus Psy variation, we're going to use the 
uh, Film Red 8... Was it 8.5 or 9.5? It was 9.5 anniversary Luffy from Film Red. The reason why we're using him as a captain is because uh, he actually has a captain ability that removes paralysis by 10 turns. And there's actually not a lot of powerhouse captains that remove paralysis for the whole team. However, Luffy is actually one of these units, which is great. Uh, Luffy is also great just in general because he does generate a full board of tandem slots. He also will go ahead and inflict increased damage taken that does go through status effects. And he does generate uh, an attack boost for the crew as well. He's just phenomenal. Uh, Marco and Vista are nice here too because they can give minus one turn of special cooldown as well as removing the special binds. So they help with just about everything here. Luffy removing the paralysis with his captain ability. And then of course we do have the Arlong. Arlong is very, very good for this fight versus the Psy variation because he does set enemies defense to zero he does uh, which, which actually allows you to proc a conditional boost if you want but it gets around the defense increase it also will go ahead and give you a, a damage reduction effect so that when you actually kill the enemy on the final stage that you don't straight up just die because of that effect so uh, very very important about that also once again make sure your special bind remover is on the right hand side made a bit of a mistake with alba because post level 30 we would have had a bit of an issue but then again now that i think about it you could just also use the effect of white beard with his super type with his special to get around the special bind so that technically isn't that big of an issue for the versus uh side team with white beard friend captain <laughs> And then we get to the final of the uh, Kizuna bosses, which is versus the strength team. The team that you're seeing here is going to be the team that we talked about in my preparation video. By using Yamato and Ace as our captain, we can avoid the bind and the special bind that would be inflicted to our team, which is fantastic. And utilizing the friend captain versus Luffy is great. He's got a great special ability, great versus effect that allows you to do a lot of da additional damage to the boss here. Now, on stage two, there's actually uh, like not a lot that you actually have to do. The Zoro character on this team, Treasure Map Rare Recruit Zoro, is fantastic for the 3.25 times chain lock for three turns. We're doing this because when we get to the last stage, the enemy will give us a bad chain lock but if we activate Zora's chain lock before reaching the final stage we don't get inflicted with the bad one from the enemy and then also we don't really need Ace and Yamato special for the final stage so we can just go ahead and use their special and all of their abilities there uh, also just I did make a little bit of an error because I really should have activated the friend captain Luffy special first before using the Frankie special due to the support of the um, Usopp which is attached to that Frankie so that once post level 30 when we're inflicted with either the poison or the paralysis slots that Frankie special straight up will remove both of them Frankie removes poison and then the Usopp support will remove paralysis when it is actually procced and then we have Morle to remove the damage threshold replaceable with basically whatever you want and then Super Tandem Luffy because uh, why not Moving on to the, uh, the my own team that I have here versus the strength variation of the Kizuna. And yeah, we're just going to be using the whole 10th anniversary, not 10th anniversary, really. It's the One Piece Day batch of Monkey D. Luffy versus Kaido. We've got Yamato. We've got Momonosuke. We've got Zoro. We've got Sanji. We've got the whole batch. Uh, the reason why we build it in this specific fashion is because of the crewmate effects. Making sure that Momonosuke and Zoro are on the right-hand side, or the left-hand side, sorry, of the crew. So that we start with a full 
full board of Wano slots. We can then go ahead and use the special ability of Zoro to give us the chain boundary effect. And then activating the uh, like the Momo special will actually change uh, the adjacent slots into Wano, as well as having the Jinbei support to lock our slots for one turn to keep the Wano slots so we don't have to worry about the paralysis or the poison slots. Should have activated the EX super of Yamato before activating her special, but it is what it is. Yamato giving attack and all boost. We're going to have the chain boundary from Zoro, which is overridable. Then Luffy special will overwrite that chain boundary and then also extend the duration of the chain boundary and the attack and the orb boost by two turns so we can carry all of these buffs into the final stage and then remove the utility uh, or the gimmicks with, uh, with Sanji and then Luffy as well using his special once again. And then the final team of this video, we're going to be building a full powerhouse team to make full use of the weakness class debuff on the opponent. You want to be building a full powerhouse team to do as much damage as possible to the opponent, but also we want to build the powerhouse team so we can actually abuse the new Whitebeard friend captain. Now we're going to be using some key characters on the crew in order to activate the EX super of both Whitebeard and Kaido. So we have Big Mom and Ulti for the Kaido side. We have Ace and Luffy for the Whitebeard side. This Ace, by the way, is a very limited unit. Not too many people would actually have him. I don't even know if he's a available from the Sugo Metal Exchange, but he is very, very good because he allows you to get around the damage threshold, he removes paralysis, and he gets rid of poison. So if you're inflicted with paralysis slots, he gets around that, he gets around the poison slots. And then of course with Kaido and Big Mom, with the way that this kind of structured is we can have the double stacking conditional boost. We've got the the, the Kaido for the all boost, of the white bit should I say, for the all boost and the chain boundary. And then we have the Luffy for the attack boost, the, the tandem slots. Very, very powerful team actually. I don't see myself having to change this team too much throughout the entire duration of the event period. But that will wrap it up for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content that I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. And that, guys, I'll see you guys within the next video. Yeah. <laughs>